Welcome to another Connect tutorial. In this video we are highlighting the best options available in our asset Compass Navigator Pro and also introducing the new features we've added along the last months. Let's get started. Adding Compass Navigator Pro to your scene is very easy. Just select Game Object, UI and finally Compass Navigator Pro. With this tool you will be able to create great looking navigation bars and minimaps with many presets and styles that can be customized and full control over all necessary parameters to customize them as you wish. Start by adjusting the navigation bar style, position and scale. You can also set edges fade in and out, set the alpha amount and also toggle cardinal and ordinal points. Besides, there are many other options regarding distance or idle update mode to check for available points to be shown in the navigation bar which will influence performance boost depending on your choice. The real purpose of the navigation bar and the upcoming configuration of the minimap will be fulfilled once we have set our points of interest. Adding them is very easy. Just select the object you want to have it as point of interest and add the script to it. From here you can set its visibility options and how distance will influence. Also, you can customize title and text when visited, set its own custom icon and even a specific audio when the object is visited. Getting back to the Compass Navigator Pro main component, you can set a custom behavior of the overall point of interest available in the scene. Now it's time to take advantage of the title and text options, where you can set a custom font and then configure specific options relative to size, spacing, reveal duration, fade out and other settings. Now that we have the main setup made, it's time to get this tool to its full potential by activating and customizing the minimap. As in previous settings, with the navigation bar, you can choose a preset style or use your custom minimap design. You can set its position on the screen, scale it, set specific icon events like their size in the minimap and position shift. Also remember to set the main game object that will play as our main character and set its custom icon too. After all this configuration is complete, you can set resolution parameters of the minimap world capturing and also when in full screen mode, as well as configuring zoom levels, setting alpha level and also contrast or brightness. Besides, if you want a custom color correction for the whole minimap, you can also set a custom LUT texture. An interesting new feature we've recently added is the ability of setting a custom static background for the minimap, where points of interest are visible but the background is a static custom texture. In addition, you can also stretch vertically and horizontally the minimap thanks to its new flexibility to set user-defined parameters and change the custom scale in the minimap route. Finally, you can activate Fog of War feature to cover the minimap and set its color and enable Auto Clear, which will automatically clear the fog around the main character relative to the radius you set. This feature is perfect for strategy games and it's used in the most popular projects like Age of Empires, Age of Mythology and many other strategy-based games. It's time for you to draw your own journey with Compass Navigator Pro and leverage its professional and time-saving features. Thank you for watching the video and remember to follow our social media for more useful content.